Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Baylor Dynasty, part number four, I believe, at this point. We are 3-0. We're taking on Colorado this week. We have a big time game on the road. We're going to play our game, obviously go through recruiting a little bit, uh, and that's pretty much all we have to do before we hop into our game of the week. But first, of course, if you guys aren't in the channel, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below. Obviously, thank you all so much for watching this video. But two videos today, as you guys already know, we are talking D23 later today. Once this video drops, probably around 12, 12 o'clock or 3 o'clock, one of those two. And then D23 will be at 5 o'clock tonight, just because D23 is tomorrow. It's where Marvel Studios gives a update regarding presentations, kind of like Comic-Con, but they're focused on the more TV side of things. So D23 pre preview and predictions later today. Right now, let's go ahead and hop right into our Dynasty mode as Baylor against Colorado. Alright everyone, here is, of course, the Dynasty homepage. We are going to hop into recruiting just a little bit. We have 650 hours. We only have added three recruits to our board, so we're definitely going to need to add more. But just to kind of get the other ones out of the way, we're going to scout these guys. And we are also going to send the house on these guys. That guy's a gem, so he is technically a four-star. This is a four-star quarterback. We are going to send the house on him. We can also schedule his visit with the TCU, and we are going to go ahead and show him, give him a family visit, just because that's an A-plus on his radar. There we are. Um, I don't think we can do anything. Let me go back real quick. That was mid. I don't think we can really do anything. He's a five-star, but... We have sent the house. We can schedule a visit with him as well. Diego Income, we are going to show him the coach prestige here. We, it's a B plus, but it does have what he's looking for. We'll add a couple more prospects here just to kind of topple out the list. I'm gonna, literally going to go down the list and just add the best ones to kind of max out our recruiting board. But as we are doing that, Team USA played really well yesterday really quickly i want to talk about that as i am going to be going over we're going to contact his friends and family and we're going to scout him and then we're going to schedule his visit during the um oklahoma state game so we'll go ahead and give him proximity home as well baylor can recruit y'all baylor baylor's been getting it in the recruiting trail recently as well so obviously that's kind of going to be a big help when it comes to that we'll schedule his visit during the osu game and we'll give him some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now, again, we are going through this daily, so obviously that is going to be a little bit of a thing, but every week we are going to be going down the list and just maxing out our hours, basically, for the week. That's kind of how you're supposed to do it in the game, so that's what we're gonna do. So if you guys are bored, you can definitely go ahead and skip this video towards the gameplay itself, but for as of for right now, I am going to be going through every single player, and yeah, we're going to be scouting them and sending the house on most of them. But really quickly, we are down to 35 hours, so we're just going to scout half of them, and we are done just like that with our recruiting hours for the week. Now, we can take on Colorado here and hop into this game. We are going to play the moments, of course. As always, don't need to edit uniforms. I did hear that Baylor got their new uniforms added in the game, which we will check out next week, so stay tuned for that one. But as of right this second, we are just hopping into this game, and there's the Buffalo running onto the field at Colorado. They are hosting an undefeated Baylor team as we are 3-0, and and we got our first moment here of the game. We got to get a drive. We got to start this drive off really well so let's just see what we are working with here you're going to take a shot deep and it is picked off on the first play of the game that is wild colorado's defense is not that good i would just say that right there anyway on a brighter side of things team usa getting that dub was that shinter sanders too or was that a different sanders was that his brother but Team USA did get the dub against um, Serbia. It was a hard-fought victory for the States. Steph Curry had 36 points yesterday. Obviously, his three-point range was, was amazing. He shot lights out, and 
kept Team USA in it basically all the way until we could. We're going to skip this moment here. We're just going to go ahead and obviously let them score. We are in the red zone now, so we are going to have to take care of this ball very quickly here. But thoughts on the game yesterday from Team USA. Looked really well as now we are going into the finals against France on Saturday at 2.30 p.m. And looking for a gold medal here. One of the final um, sports here. We're going to go jet sweep. Dang, this defense is really not that good. I don't know what it is. But we're headed to the final game. Pretty much the final game of the, the Paris Olympics, might I add, too. Bro, what is wrong with this? We will take our field goal to tie up the game. But I'm not happy about that because Colorado, again, it, I, what is this game, bro? I literally centered that, too. I don't understand what they need me to do for that. But at least they didn't score and our defense held them. So we got another chance offensively to put up some points on the board. Oh, why needs to block? Jesus Christ. We are kicking a field goal. Don't know if I should be the one who's kicking it, but we will find out. We got it to go. 10 to 10 here. I mean, it's not pretty, but we'll take it. Third down again. Um, What what down is it? They need to fix that, by the way. The scoreboard, I can't even see. Third and one here. So we're just going to pass over the middle and get that first down here at about the 31 yard line good job third down again jesus christ bro we cannot catch a break with these third downs and why is the scoreboard not showing up i have beef with ea on that and that was an incomplete pass field goal kick right here boys let's see if we cannot just kick this one right down the middle because it is a center kick and it is good 13 to 10. We have taken the lead here on the road in Colorado. They're going for it on third down or fourth and one, which is wild to me. But hey, they're probably going to hand the ball off. So let's try and stop that. And indeed, they handed the ball off. We predicted that one right as we got that one to go. Two minute drill. Let's get some points on this one, fellas. Take a commanding halftime lead and put Baylor, hopefully, or put Colorado, dang, bro, in their place. What is going on? This offensive line sucks for Baylor. Like, genuinely. We are really bad. I have little time to throw. That's an interception. Just because, again, their defense is apparently so stacked, man. They're going to update this, and this game. And by like week four of the college football regular season, they are not going to be this good, fellas. So just sit tight for now because if you're struggling with Colorado like I am, they, they're they not going to be that good come regular season time. They're probably going to have their first three wins and then they'll have what they always have. So about week six or so, they're going to fall off like everyone says they are going to. As that is an incomplete pass here. Third and inches. I feel like they're going to run the ball, hand it off to Travis Hunter here. So let's see. No, they did not run the ball. And they scored a freaking touchdown off of that. Great job, guys. Way to play defense. And it doesn't even give us a chance to play offense. But, hey, we took the lead there. So it is 17-20. to and we got to get a big stop here. I think EA is giving us grace a little bit playing against this Colorado team. Oh, I should pick that one. That one was on me that time. And not turn around in time. But, hey, it is what it is. Just because we get another chance to stop them. So, let's just hold them to a field goal. Hold them to tie the game here. We are going to show blitz on this. Oh, that was my corner too. I should have had that one. But, it is what it is. By the way, fellas, just woke up here. It's about 10 a.m. here on the East Coast. So, again, that is why I'm not talking as much about things. And he goes down for a loss. Great job. That was me. That was all me. I can't say anything else about that. Come on. Let's get a stop here. What is wrong with this scoreboard, bro? Third and eight. I don't understand 
when it does hurry up like this, it takes away the scoreboard for whatever reason. Like, why does it do that? See, look, the scoreboard is black. And he's wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Great, when our defense should have been all over that. And why does it not give me a chance to score? Or at least come back? This is how the game screws you over, bro. Second and seven here. I don't understand why they feel the need to go hurry up, but again, I'm not Coach Prime. Come on, fellas. Let's get a stop right here. Even though the scoreboard won't show up. Man, these tackling mechanics are not the best, especially, I think Madden's have a better chance of getting a tackle than defensive does in this game. Wide open in the end zone. I was on my man. Nobody else could do their job, which is stupid. Third down alert. We have got to take control of this drive. It is third and one here. We're going to hand this ball off to our running back and just hope he can get us the one yard that we need. He gets one and so much more on that play. First and 10 inside the 25-yard line. Great job, boys. And it does not allow us, well, at least we scored a touchdown off of it. So happy on that one. But we are headed to the fourth quarter. Down by five here against Colorado. This game's probably going to let us lose this. But hey, it is what it is. You guys are still getting content, so. Great job. Great stop. We held him right there, boys. Third and 15, and we get a touchdown on that drive, is what I just saw. So we have the one point advantage here, fellas. I believe it is third down if this scoreboard would show up. No, it is first down here. But, again, I don't understand why they're going to feel the need to go hurry up. They have control of this game, so we have to get them a stop right here. That is number one priority. And, of course, we do not, and they take it in the end zone for a touchdown. Fantastic. All right, so we have a chance right here. To go down, we are down by seven right now. So a field, a touchdown, and PAT ties this game up. A touchdown and two-point conversion gets us the lead. If we run this clock down and go for two and miss, I'm going to be so mad. But that is what we are going to be aiming for right here as we get out of bounds there. First down, great job. Short passes here, short passes. Takes time off the clock here as well. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the key factor in this one is short passes for the first down marks. Video is going a little bit overboard, but it is what it is. You guys have gotten the best game that we have gotten this season so far. I'm going to throw this to O right here. Great play right there. Oh, boo-hoo, injury timeout. Oh, well. They are looking at that play, really. Okay, they still gave us the, the yards, which is good. We're going to hand this ball off to our running back, who is number 21. Come on, boys. Yes, way to get me the yards, number 79. Number 79 did all of that work right there for us, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Come on. Go to work. 89 gets it. First down. First down, Baylor. Let's go. We do not want to have any time left on this clock for them to score. So, we are about 21 yards out or so from scoring. We just don't want to have any time left for them to score so that we... We're going to run this clock down just so that we can hopefully go into overtime or at least do something here because I want to win this game against Colorado. Now, this this makes me mad that they're projected this good right here. And it is third and three with a minute and 54 seconds left. So, again, I got to keep in mind this is not road to glory. So, we got choices to make right here we'll get regarding um, going for two. So, I have a choice of going for one, going for two. I think going for one is the smart option just because this defense apparently is really, really good in this game. Second and goal here. Minute 37 left. 
clock is ticking though, so we got to be cautious of that one as we go play action right here. We're going to go to R1 over the middle, and it is now third and goal. So if we don't get this touchdown here now, we're not going to be able to get this touchdown at all, which is going to be hard to do, but it's now or never right here. Bro, offensive line needs to block. We have one more play. One final play. One shot at the end zone right here. Shoot. That's ball game right there. We could not come away with the victory. We did lose. Game is on the line. I don't... I should have skipped that moment just because they're going to run the ball. They're going to run the ball now. So, again... It's possible, especially in college football 25, but, I mean, I don't want to waste the energy trying to play them. This video is already 15 minutes long, so we're, we're probably just going to allow them to seal the deal right here and just call it game. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy. See, like that, that doesn't even, that's crazy. We're just, yeah, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is the game as we take the L, 32 to 30. Well, everyone, you can't win them all. So, of course, we did take the L on this one. Our first loss of the 2024 season um, next week, we do have a bye, so we will kind of regroup things once we come back next week. But that is where I'm going to leave this video. That Once again, hit that like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. With that said, I'm going to hop off and get this edited so you all can watch it on time. Have a great rest of your Friday. And, of course, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.